What's up, everybody? It's your boy from the Charm City, Charm City Gamer here. Back with Roy, back with Roy, PGA Tour, and we're gonna do PGA Tour Pro Career. We're gonna create a golfer and build our legacy. <coughs> Obviously, our first name will be uh, Ted Storm. Thank you, like We're not going to be PGA Tour Pro. That would just be stupid. Nobody names themselves that. Dead Storm. At least now you have nice pleasant music to listen to. You don't have to worry about it being nailed by copyright shit. So that's nice. Alright, there. Gender male, obviously. Indian is right handed. US. Okay. Ooh, that's cool. Be a prodigy. Tin tan. I'm gonna light it up a bit. Nine color. Green. Hairstyle. You wanna be like a uh, straight. Like a tapered cut. Uh, how about straight and down? Okay, we want to change the color of the hair to black. And it looks more like me. That's fine. Body, you gotta change that. Height average. And continue. I know it didn't look that much like me, but what the heck. Okay, open your first bonus. Make a power into a rust if you want. We'll do balance right now. <coughs> we can boost all that later. Let's get things started. Welcome to our championship. Can we change our outfits? Oops. Oh, cool. we can change them for different days. That's cool. Nice, I'm liking this. We'll go with the uh, EA Sports Crew neck t shirt loop. Uh, we want a hat. Cover up the hair. I have a black EA Sports cap. Let's look! We'll go with the classic white blue glove. Right glove, same thing. Shoes. I'm gonna change those to. I bet you. That. Match better. That looks a little more like that. Friday. Same thing. Shirt, that a white shirt was going to go with the green one, the green polo. Pants, uh, we'll go with uh, khaki slacks. Hat, go with the white cap. Gloves, red and white this time. For the other days, we'll just figure it out later. Oh, we can copy the effort? That's cool. I like that better. Copy them for all the days. We'll change them along the table. Anyways, let's get a game started, and we'll be right back for this. But we want to get the clock straight. Okay, so, we will get a game go uh, uh, thing started in just a second. I'm just seeing what we can do here. Attribute bonuses. We change that, then our driving and long game is affected. But our spin on that is weakened. So right now we're gonna stick to balance. 60 of everything. So we will 
be set for this in just a second. What's this for your progress? Okay. Anyways. Let's do it. Upcoming event, Webcom Tour Championship. Well, we want to get on the tour as quickly as we can. This is our chance to do just that. Alright, first round. On the 10th hole, let's do this and we'll be back starting in just a moment, people. Alright guys, Web.com Tour Championship first round, TPC Sawgrass in Ponte Verde Beach, Florida. We're even score at the 10th hole, we're in 17th. And also, a little note for you to wrestling fans, Ponte Verde Beach, Florida is from kind of one of my least like wrestlers, Alicia Fox. But anyways, let's get a win and show them that something good did come out of Ponte Verde Beach. Me as a champ. Here we go. In the world of professional golf, there exists an elite club. A club filled with legends, household names, and rising stars. A club where membership is earned yearly with time, sweat, and dedication. This week, 50 players will gain entry into this exclusive fellowship. The top 25 from the regular season have already secured their spots. And another 25 spots are up for grabs here this week. Some dreams will be realized. Others will have to wait another day. Who will be next to join the likes of Jason Duffner, Grant Snedeker, and Keegan Bradley as the next great Web.com Tour graduate? I'll tell you, it's Ted Storm. I mean, the kid's a football player, he's a wrestler, now he's a practice golfer. What can't this kid do? EA Sports and the Web.com Tour proudly present opening There's round TPC coverage Sawgrass of the Web.com Tour graphics. Championship. Make this place look absolutely beautiful. Makes you almost look like you're there. Well, That's the waiting is over. We are about to get started here today. Rich Lerner alongside Frank Novello will be calling the action for you. Frank, the golfers look ready to go, so any kind of player could win here. Yeah, the long hitters have to take advantage of the par fives because that's their gift. But the other holes are extremely well balanced and you take position over power. Very true, as you'll see, we'll be 17th trying to catch the leaders. That'll be coming up right here. I see, 17th trying to catch the leaders. It's a few strokes ahead of me. And here we go. Frank now on to the 10th at Sawgrass. A fairly straight par four, but uh, that's not the way to play it. You really want to go to the right, well away from the fairway bunker that runs all the way down the left side. That turns it into a little bit of a dog leg left. Then you're going to come across that front bunker into a green that, uh, well, is anything other than flat. Here we go. Maybe we shot that one, but we got the accuracy perfect. Frank, did you hear the sound of that coming off the club face? It was like a cannon. Yeah, it was. 280 yards. Frank, not overly long, but still a pretty good spot and in the fairway. Yeah, that's in that 280 mark. Getting set from 145 yards away. Frank, no doubt these players have dreams of winning the big championships, the majors the someday, but at least yeah, to this still. point, you would have to say this is probably the biggest day of their golfing. Lot. Golf uh, or professional golf can be a little bit like snakes and ladders. They've got themselves on the ladder. If they can climb this one, the next ladder, the PGA Tour. But don't slip. Hmm. Here we go. Oh, I might have hit that just a touch. Another good swing, and land. it looks like, Frank, another really good shot. Right by the cup. That's awesome. That's really easy birdie for me. Cocky, Pretty good all day from this distance, just trying to take care of That's business. Easy. Too easy for me. And he's got the birdie, like a chipping birdie. That's easy. Needs a few more of those. That was a good birdie. One under. Yeah, this time, that one gets him in the top ten. A couple more of those, and we set. Now to the eleventh, par five. Good tee shot, and then you certainly think about hitting a hybrid or a lofted fairway wood into this green that's really narrow, one of the narrowest on the golf course. There's a little pot bunker left of this green when you go for two that often swallows up that second shot if it's a little bit too conservative. But um, there's a lake there. Seen more than one ball splash in the pond over the years. Here we go. 
how they finally shut up. I went to the left, but I managed to hit it right on target for the fairway. Good shot. Good shot. Came out 270. That's in the fairway. Good stuff. Looks like he's going to have a go at it here at the par five. His second shot. I'm going to get it straight to the green, but I can hit it a little further than most. I just put a little extra power into it like that. That's not on the added power. That'll at least boost me even closer. 240. Not bad. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really, the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. I need it too short, but I at least got the, at least got the uh, green, right? I did it a little short. He's knocked it on the green, but not in a great position. This is a difficult chance coming up here. Long birdie try. It's a long birdie, but I'm not really attempting a birdie. I want to get it at least close to I can. Oh my goodness. I'm very happy with that one. Yeah, lag part, I mean, really, it's unrealistic to try and make those. So anytime you can uh, two putt from there is a good result. Make a putt right here, shot currently right sitting at one under for the round. Can you imagine if I'd have made that? Holy shit, that would have been awesome. And I just about made it. I just missed it off the edge Nice par to remain one under. Up to the 12th, Frank, and a good birdie chance here. Yeah, good old Lynx short par Take four. Um, this green really divides itself into about three sections. There's a little piece to the right, piece short left, and the one at back left. So as long as you know where the flag are, flag, as long as you know where the flag is, just push that ball into the section where it is. You get up there, you're only going to have 10 or 15 feet left for birdie. After that good tee shot, Rich, it's time to take full advantage of it. And this is one where he can really go after the, the whole location. And maybe think about making birdie. I might have just missed the power, but I'm going to at least get it on the green. Good looking shot right here. Right next to the board. Well, that is an exceptional that's shot ridiculous. on the green and in position for a birdie. Yeah, that's that full is melody way now. Too ridiculous. That's, that's basically a tap in birdie. That's so cool. You don't want to let this one get away. This is about concentration and focus at this point. So far. That's a nice roll, and with that birdie, now two under par for the tournament. And I'm in third place now, tied for third. Frank, so much We're focus on the back here. nine here at the stadium course at TPC Sawgrass on the 17th hole with the island green. I think 13 gets lost sometimes, we win this thing. but the pros know this is a really good hole. Oh, it can be disastrous, too. That's, I think, what you're referring to, Rich. There's a big ridge in the middle of the screen that bisects the top side with the bottom side on the left. So even when the flag's on the left, you don't have to go directly at it because that normally causes the problem with the uh, wooden bulkheads down the left side and obviously the water left of that. So something on the ridge can often run down towards the left. But we have seen the odd hole-in-one here over the years. And we'll be taking that in just a moment, people. We are back at the 13th hole. Let's see if we can nail this bad boy. Here we go. Alright, perfect timing on both ways. That might get us right to the green. And this is looking really good. Oh, almost got the hole in one. That is classy. I almost got a hole in one. That. Oh my god. That would have been awesome if I'd gotten the hole in one, but I'll definitely take another birdie. Just needs to keep it steady here over the putt. Definitely take another birdie. I would like to hold on, but I'll take a third birdie. That's no problem with that. I have no problems at all with a third birdie. Comfortably inside the cut line, the young prodigy makes another birdie. Three birdies in a row, and I'm tied for first. Awesome. Frank, 14 is so often a pivotal hole here at the TPC Sawgrass. Hey, it is, Rich. And when you see a player hit two shots comfortably on the screen, you think, what's all the problems about 14? But when you see someone stray left or stray right, you realize that 14 is Stay a relaxed. real bear. Focus. Zero. Act and focus. All right, here we go. Bang. What a bomb. Ba -ba 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 bomb. About 260, nice. Frank, right where you want to be. Oh, wouldn't be better if it was on a T. Hmm. <laughs> 
Now playing the second here at the par four. Right, one second, because that damn, that damn streaming thing is getting in the way. So hold on a second, guys. Finish this hole in just a moment. Okay, guys. Here we go. Let's take the second shot to begin get on the on the green. 228 yards. That's not the max you can hit it. Here it goes. Oh, I think I overshot that one. I might have overshot this one. I think this one looks like it might have a postage stamp on it. Airmail City. Yeah, lick it. Send it. Okay, so I did overhit that Frank, one. Frank, it hit the touch. green, but just didn't have enough backspin. Yeah, it, uh, like you wonder what he was thinking on that. I can chip it right here. Right in the hole. Oh, almost. And he's made it onto the green now. Not a gimme, but well within his range. Get this. Well, that was a good looking putt, just not falling right now. Didn't I said okay. he's going to be disappointed. Sorry. So a tester from four feet. There's nothing different. Nothing other than a bogey. There we go. Okay, I would drop a shot. That's all right. Gives back a shot and now drops into third place after the bogey. All right, we don't have to win this championship. We can easily finish third. Frank, the 15th hole certainly has the respect of the professionals. But you're right, this is a positional hole where uh, just keep the ball down the left center. You can't go too far, though, because you'll get blocked out or you'll run out of fairway. From there, it's really about knowing where the flag is, what position on this green, because this is another green that's not go. flat. If the second shot lands on the wrong portion of the green, it'll finish well away from the hole. Oh, God, oh, God, terrible shot. Headed terrible for the setup. bunker? Terrible setup. Oh, God, that's bad. Not quite what he was hoping for, the tee shot in the bunker. Uh, Missed yeah. the fairway in the fairway bunker now. It's not all gloom and doom, though. Lip isn't too high. A good swing here still shouldn't be a problem. Got it out of it. Where is it going to land there? Frank, this one's not looking good. Yeah, certainly not down the fairway line, hitting toward the rough. How tough is this going to be now from the rough, Frank? Oh, it's tough to say, Rich. I mean, so much is going to depend on that lie. I'm going to need a little bit of luck. A little bit of luck, it's not in the day. Look where I got this bad luck. Right up by the hole. Oh, just a superb shot. You're not going to see much better than that all day today. Day. Hut for par. Needs one. Hey. Struggling hey. a bit with the flat stick and a drop shot here at the 15th hole. Well, at least the one under. Won't be third anyway. Now at one under for the round. Oh no, I'll take it. Second round coverage coming your way tomorrow for our entire crew. Right. I'm Rich Lerner alongside Frank Navalo. So long for now. I finished seventh, that's not too bad. Nice. and actually boost our stuff up, that's cool. So we have boosted our stuff. It's not true, I slip in the 16th, that's okay. All right, so what happens now? Get high second round. Second round. Oh, so we're in fifth. Over. Okay, yeah, that's cool. Minus two, position fifth, hole fourth. All right, guys, we'll be covering that in just a second. All right, guys, second round of the Wood.com Tour Championship. We're two under in fifth place at the fourth hole. Let's do it. Might be a little tricky to get slide in first place, but we should be able to with some good play. Here we go, folks. Let's go get ourselves. Moved up in the rain. EA Sports and the Web.com Tour proudly present second round coverage of the Web.com Tour Championship. It's the second round of the Web.com Tour Championship, fourth and final stop of the Web.com Tour Finals. We saw a lot of great golf on day number one, but as we inch closer, Frank, with those 50 PGA Tour cards up for grabs, that pressure begins to ratchet up. 
it would have to, Rich, with that golden ticket come the end of this week, and that's a chance to play on the PGA Tour. But for the time being, let's look at the way they're playing right now. We are seeing some players play at the top of their game. Well, they should. We'll look to go to three under Harvey Lander for the day. Frank, how would you describe the bunker all along the right here at number four? Well, it's just, it looks like it never stops. It covers really the, the entire length of that tee shot Great down count. the right side. Just keep spinning, just keep spinning. <laughs> no complaints there. In the fairway, down there about 290 yards. Frank here at the fourth, not a long shot, but it can be tricky. If you get a little ambitious when that flag's on the left side, you can spin it all the way back into the lake. Another good swing, and it looks like, Frank, another really good shot. Par yesterday, now for birdie. Makeable putt right here. He is currently sitting at one under for the round. Tap it in there. Easy tap in. Got the bar. Nothing wrong with that par putt. Hard to get three under, but I'll take the par putt for sure. Hey, look, a big, big uh, here. Fifth hole Andrew. here at TPC Sawgrass. Long par four. What's the challenge, Frank? Depending, uh, you really, if you're long or short hitter, the long hitters have the luxury of, of taking it over the corner of the bunker down the right. Shorter hitters really play at that bunker down the left. 320 run out. Just a good solid tee shot right there, about 280 yards. So where the hole is cut, just about 190 yards, Frank. This is looking really good. He'll be pretty happy with that one. About 20 feet away, in a good spot. And it's a long way to the hole from here. Never easy. No, it's not easy. I got doing this. Downhill. It was, and I got it. Nice birdie. So one shot closer to the lead with that birdie. I usually never nail those long ones, but I got it. This is how it shoots out at you the way, say, 17 does. Yeah, a lot of times people will just sort of gloss over it, but anytime you get a par four under 400 yards, it's a great opportunity. But once again, a positional hole. Take advantage of it. Smack down. Now I get like a smack down. <laughs> Frank, it makes the game easy when you play it from the fairway. Especially when you play it from a lie like that. Well, it's going to take a good one here, considering what they've already gone through. That green is going to look very small, so it's going to take a good shot here to give himself an opportunity. Some really poor play to this point. Well, this is taken off on a weird line. And it's going to be in the rough, it looks like. So the second of the par four goes begging, and... Now I'll have to rely on the short game. Yeah, but a short game, as we all know, can uh, redeem a lot of mistakes. Let's see if he does it here. Almost. Very Ready? nicely done, right on the dance floor. Standing over this putt, concentrating on the read. Knock that in, get a part. No problems there. Yeah, it keeps okay. the round going, keeps the momentum on his side. Three under three six balls. Frank, what do you think of the seventh? Interesting par Back four for, um, for two reasons. Nice. The undulating green on the end of the hole, it also shapes talking. to the right. That makes it look like a dogleg right. But really, you want to play that tee shot just inside those pot bunkers down the right side. All right, we'll be back to that next shot in just a moment, guys. Okay, let's take care of this shot, shall we? Here we go. Okay. 
I overshot that in terms of power, but I did it perfectly. That will spin on it. Oh my goodness, he hit that for nearly 300 yards. Not the longest, but not bad. 295 yards in the fairway. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. And this one just starts right of the flag. That is every single green. Well done. The one better than yesterday when he made Paul's putt for birdie. Going right in, I don't even have to move. Just one inch to the left. And here we go. Well, that one inch doesn't kill me. And it doesn't. Another birdie. Awesome. Another birdie, and we are comfortably absolutely. inside the cut line. The young prodigy makes another birdie. We keep this up. We just might. Stay Frank, in the this lead is a hole that I really round. like. The eighth, 237 yards. Par three, just a necklace of bunkers surrounding the green. What's the best approach? Well, you come out through that chute or that hallway of trees there, and this being the longest of the four par threes at TPC Sawgrass, the green actually plays much smaller than what it looks because of that narrow entry. Oh, He's knocked gosh. it on the green, but not in a great position. This is a difficult chance coming up here. Long birdie try. It's a long try. I'm just going to try to get it closer. I need to power that thing just a tad. Oh, yeah, I need to power that. That's a head scratcher. No other way to put it. That close to the green and misses it badly to the right. Okay, uh, just practicing for a par. That's a good par given the situation. Still nice tight, job. still Save close. It. Might have lost our lead if we hadn't made that far. We saved there, right there. Frank, I think this is one of the most fascinating holes on the golf Forward course. Back. The 583 yard par 5 ninth hole. With technology yeah. now, a lot more players can reach this par 5 too. Gone are the days where it was a true three shot, but uh, I remember when Sergio Garcia hit that three wood from what was it to 70, 280 yards? Still one of the best shots I've ever seen. 75 yards, I'll take that. A second shot to the five. All right, one second, I'm gonna finish this hole off. All right, guys, my charming nation army of 225 and growing. Let's see if we can finish this one off and stay in the lead. Here we go. Good shot. Frank, when you think layup shot on a par five, you think it's easy. This isn't necessarily that simple, is it? No, you've got to keep the ball to the right. Otherwise, those overhanging, overhanging limbs on those trees on the left, they become havoc. That is a really good shot landing close to the flagstick. Now this for birdie came away with par in the previous round. Should be an easy birdie. I get this straight. If I do, I'll have a lead all to myself. And I made it. <laughs> five up. This is a good move. Another birdie. Now to five under for the tournament. Yeah. There you have it. The second round is complete. Another solid effort put together. And it shows on the scorecard. Yeah, and after two rounds, you really start to see uh, not only who's playing well, but who's consistent. Look at that. Level six. Three equipment items, limited per on, one attribute bonus. Nice. And it boosts our ball striking and short game and spin spout. Nice, I like. Where will we start for round three for the next episode? Okay, tied for first. I like it. Let's play at the final three holes. Okay, what are we going to have here?
Oh, okay. Well, I already see the third, the uh, third round stuff. We'll take care of that in the second episode, guys. Until next time, I wish you both in the Sharon City. Sharon City, gonna send it out. Remember, if you like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to support me on the channel. And as always, keep it charming.